Hi all of you. What to do one week before the exam of ENESS 2023 October session. See, there are two things that you need to understand. And uh, whether you are preparing for NEET SS and ENESS or only ENESS. And first let me take a scenario for students preparing for both the exams. And uh, you are given a NEET SS uh, last month and your results have come on 15th of uh, October. And don't worry about your results. Your results are good and you are a topper and keep it aside. And if you have not done well also, the ranks are not to expected level, keep it aside. Don't worry about it at all. Don't go into the analysis of that, what we'll get and all that. Just for an, one week, just be focused on the upcoming exam on NESS. Now, what you need to do is, one thing you are not supposed to do is, you don't read, I mean, feeder branch. Suppose you are from a medical group, don't read on general medicine or Harrison based or going to be a surgery or general surgery on the Subistan Bailey or Schwartz or going to be in an OBG. I mean, whatever the speciality, don't read the general feeder PG branch that you belong to. Just keep it aside because you have worked for 150 questions. So, you no need to do it. This is just an extension of exam what you are given in NEET SS. Going to be asked only 25 to 30 from your feeder branch. So, just keep it aside. Don't do anything. But what you need to focus is just focus on the speciality that you wanted to do. What you do is last one week, even if you have not done anything fruitfully previously, just from tomorrow morning, what you do is just see the videos once if you have not done. Just see the videos once and one day before the exam, just scroll through the PowerPoint slides. This one week, give one daily grand test, this 80 question grand test. So you would have given almost six to seven grand test and seen all the video once and uh, one day before the exam, just scroll through the PowerPoint slides for a revision. This will give you a preparation that will help you to attend the exam with confidence. And with whatever the knowledge that you have, whatever the day that you could perform, can give you a very good rank, number one. Number two, if you have voraciously prepared for ENESS, all that you need to do is just stop watching all the videos and don't do anything. Just scroll through the PowerPoint slides which are there in the notes and also give the grand exams daily one and just keep revising it. So the other way of doing it for people are preparing for ENES is the primary exam. Now, what I'm trying to tell you is those students who have prepared as a primary exam is ENESS, not prepared for NEET SS, they're not even given NEET SS. Now, what you need to do is you need to spend little time on your general federal branch, what you belong to, because you will be on 100% focus on your specialty that you're going to do. So the kind of importance that you would have given earlier uh, to the general federal branch or PG that you belong to will be very less. So what I request you to do is spend last one week, three days or 50% of time for your speciality revision and spend rest of the 50% of your time for revision of your general federal branch that is a PG that you do. And at least what you need to do is there is no time to watch the videos at least. Yes, give two grand tests in the federal branch and, and also scroll through the PowerPoints once before you go to the exam. So that could balance the kind of preparation that you are in. Understood? Now you ask me the next question, how many questions should I attend? 80 out of 80 because this is a exam that whether you do or you don't do, there is no point in playing safe. I mean, if there are two seats, three seats, 10 seats, 12 seats, I mean the number of seats are very restricted. It is that either you are in or not in. So there is nothing to play safe. 80 out of 80 is a minimum. I mean, you can ask me, sir, how you are telling all this. See, I will tell you, I am one of the person I have taken as many interviews as possible. I would have taken almost close to almost 1,500 to 2,000 interviews in the past 20 years of various toppers. I mean, from the experience of that, I am telling you, this exam, 80 is a minimum attempt you should give for a topmost score. There is nothing a overall score or a best rank or a good rank. It is either the top rank or no rank. So, you need to give 80 out of 80. This I will be insisting in my next video also. See, the type of paper in uh, NESS of the 80 question, predominantly most of the question will be on a clinical scenario based and in that it will be on diagnosis and clinical management. Even in the clinical management, it will be the decision making. So, you need to focus on the clinical aspect of it, of the subject that you are in and also you need to focus on the management perspective on important aspect on your decision making. If you are in this situation, what decision you will take for a given patient? I mean, that kind of a concept, I mean, you can expect in this exam. So, this exam will be of a standard paper and uh, definitely you will enjoy this paper. So, I just summarize those who are a NEET SS and NESS 
combined exam preparation, focus on the speciality. Those who are preparing only for any SS, mean you need to focus little on general federal branch because that will be desiring for you. So, I wish you all the best and do well. Do not worry about anything which has happened in the past. This week, you just focus on the exam on 28th. Yes, and you can think anything that you wanted to do on 29th. Sunday is a free day for you. That day you can think. 28th is the day. So, you need to just be going on. I mean, spend almost close to 12 to 14 hours for the rest one week. Apply leave. Be on full time and, uh, and then go on to the exam. And definitely you will do it. And you will be able to accomplish your dream or speciality of your choice. Do not worry. You will all be in and, uh, and you will do well. So, keep going. All the best to you.